This week we go pants off with junior linebacker David Curry. David, I know they arranged the lockers numerically here, but you lucked out. You got yourself the corner office. That's got to be nice. Yeah, you know, we're just uh, we're so happy that we have this new locker room. It's it's amazing. Uh, you know, corner. I'm close to the to the trash, to the uh, to the scissors to get your your. Uh, tape off everything so yeah I'm really happy with it well the name of this segment is pads off but frankly you had your pads off for far too long you missed last season with a variety of injuries missed the spring you made your return last Saturday versus Alcorn State and on the very first play from scrimmage you got the tackle how satisfying did that first hit feel I mean, of course I we had an interview before and I was just telling you I was ready to go out there and hit somebody other than Georgia Tech and you know, after uh, you know that first tackle falling into my lap and I made it, it, was, it felt really good. That was merely the prelude because in the third quarter, you ran back a fumble 15 yards for a touchdown. We know the defensive touchdown is the pinnacle for all defensive players. Explain the kind of camaraderie, the chemistry, the celebration that breaks out when you or one of your defensive teammates get to score. Oh, I mean, it's like you said, it's the best thing that can happen, you know? So, you know, when it happens, everybody's jumping up and down. I mean, you could see as the play is going on, Jalen's high stepping as I'm going into the end zone. So, you know, everybody's really pumped up. You know, everybody, even the coaches are just going crazy. So, you know, it's it's really, it's a good time. You might come from the most athletic family in this Georgia Tech locker room. Let me see if I have this straight. Your grandfather played basketball for Adolph Rupp at Kentucky. Your dad, of course, seven-year NFL veteran with the Falcons. You had an older brother who was drafted in baseball out of high school. Another older brother played college football. Your sister is a freshman volleyball player at the University of Kentucky. Was this your typical athletic family growing up where everything, no matter how small, turned into a competition? Yeah, I would say not as much through my parents, but you know, me and the older brothers, we definitely got got into it a lot. Uh, they were always bigger than me, bigger and stronger, so you know, they kind of overpowered me. But me and my sister, because my sister's probably the most athletic out of us all, me and her uh, were competing a lot because she was she's such a good athlete. Well, she isn't in this picture, but let's pull out this family photo here. Now, this was actually not from your collection. This belonged to Georgia Tech former athletic trainer Jay Shoup. How on earth did he have one of your family photos? Well, actually, so uh, Coach Shoup was my dad's trainer when he played for the Falcons. So he's known my family for a very long time. And, you know, he came back in the training room one day and he called me in there and he was like, David, I want to give you something. And he handed me the photo and I was kind of confused just like you. And I was like, how did you have this? He was like, I've had it for a long time. And, you know, the, my first question was, and also a text to my parents said, who decided that we were going to wear denim? Because I don't, I don't know, that's kind of ugly in my opinion, but, you know, I was probably, you know, I was a young boy right there. So. Now, you were not only a standout in football, your first recruiting attention actually came at a different sport. Maybe not the sport some people would expect. Yeah, pole vaulting, actually. So uh, in uh, high school, I was a pole vaulter. I think I started when I was a seventh grader. And um, actually, my sophomore year, I ended up winning a state championship in pole vaulting. Last question for David Curry. Which of your teammates would you most want to see attempt pole vaulting? To see who would I want to be? Oh, man. I think either Victor or um, Big B, definitely. So, um, you know. I think you'd have to get a tree trunk for one of them, but you know, it'd, it'd be all right. I think it'd be funny. Big B, of course, is 325 pound Brandon Adams. Get out of his way when yeah. you get a pole and a runway. David, thanks so much for going pads off with us. Thank you.